Hey everyone, welcome back. So I have done a bunch of research. I looked on Google and I looked on YouTube and I watched a bunch of videos and it turns out the stuff on the brushes that you may have seen the video that I posted that I was going to take up watercolors and I showed the brushes how they kind of like acted really weird on the end. Uh, it turns out what it is is gum arabic. So they, the manufacturers put it on the brush bristles so that they don't get splayed out in shipping and it turns out all you have to do is rinse it in some clean water uh, maybe give it a little gentle massage with your fingers to kind of get that gum substance out um, and then you can shape the tips of the brushes let them dry and then you're good to go so uh, when I <laughs> when I bought them I had no idea what that was um, in all the videos that I've seen um, nobody really mentioned it and then I even called an art supply place kind of a big reputable one that a lot of the artists on YouTube talk about and I asked them what it was and he had no idea what I was talking about so yeah it took me a while to figure it out but I did figure it out and so it was time to get that sticky substance off the brushes so that I could start using them and so what I did was I just took two mason jars I filled them up with water and I got my brushes ready and um, you know I just kind of stuck them in the water and swished them around um, I wasn't quite sure how long to do it um, so I just kept swishing it around and kind of rubbing it on the tip of my finger and you know trying to figure out how much it would take to get that sticky stuff off and it turns out it was pretty fast um, within the first kind of swish and running it across my finger it seemed like it was fairly well off um, but I wasn't sure so I just kind of kept doing it uh, plus I was a little mesmerized by the bristles um, and the way they kind of reflected off the light on my finger and uh, I might have spent a little bit too much time uh, waiting for focus to happen and then just kind of staring at the light shining off you know the water on my finger um, but eventually I then kind of took my fingers and real carefully um, not pulled on the bristles but kind of gently I guess tugged at them uh, you know to see if there was going to be any loose uh, bristles that were going to come out on the paintings that I might start doing um, and I had seen a couple of videos where uh, they talked about that you know some of the cheap brushes and even some good brushes can lose you know hairs or bristles off the brush uh, land on your painting and then you can't get them off and it's pretty frustrating from what I understand so then I went to the next one which is a Princeton Neptune number two um, I sort of just gravitated toward this line of brush uh, there's so many to choose from it was kind of overwhelming all the different ones that they had um, so I just settled on the Princeton Neptune series uh, part of it was I like the color of the handle I mean and that's kind of a, a goofy way to choose a brush but for now you know they seem to be okay um, so I did the same thing with it I just swished it in the water kind of painted it across my finger to see if that gum substance was going to come off um, and I sort of at this point had gotten over the mesmerization mesmerization is that a word being mesmerized by brushing a brush on my wet finger while the light reflected off of it um, so my goal was just to kind of get through it and and get that off um, this one responded really quick came off uh, very fast maybe because the bristles were smaller and then I did like I did before as I kind of gently tugged on any loose bristles that would come out and, and none of them did um, I shaped the tip um, it came to a really nice sharp point and I laid it out kind of horizontally to dry I had heard that you're not supposed to um, let them dry standing up so I just laid it out flat and moved on to the next one which is a Princeton Neptune number six um, a little bit bigger it's got a great shape on the on the brush again I'm not familiar with the shapes yet um, but I really did like it it had a couple of stray hairs but I didn't think it was going to be any big deal so like the other ones I just took and swished it around in the water 
Um, you know, I knew that at this point it comes off fairly quickly, so I didn't have to spend a whole lot of time. Um, painted it across my finger and, you know, noticed that these brushes hold a lot of water. That's one thing that I heard on uh, some of the reviews about them is that they hold a whole bunch of water. Um, it's a synthetic brush. It's a synthetic squirrel is what they're calling it. Um, and it definitely holds a lot of water. Um, and I think, you know, that could be advantageous. Um, and it also is something that I guess you have to be careful with that, you know, you don't want to put too much water on the painting. Um, so that'll be a, a balance that I'll have to find out. So this one, uh, once it comes into focus, I noticed that uh, the gum came right off. Uh, I didn't have to worry about, you know, doing it over and over and over. Um, I shaped this one. Um, I didn't really pull on this one as much as I did the other ones because I felt like, uh, you know, that they weren't actually going to come out. So I just kind of shaped it to see how quickly and easily it would shape. Um, and it turns out it, you know, it did it fairly quickly um, and it came to a really nice point and, um, you know, I was really happy with that. So I might have shaped it a little bit more than I needed to. Uh, it was very soft and uh, very, uh, I'm a very tactile person. Uh, so it came to a good point. There are a couple of stray hairs on the end. Um, I don't know if that's something that I need to be concerned with. So all I did after this is I just laid them across some jars, uh, the ones that I was using to wash them, and just let them dry, take shape, and now they're ready to use. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up for me. If you'd like to see more videos, consider subscribing. And until the next time, thanks for watching. Yes, nailed it. All right, and cut.